Hello and welcome to Fieldwire. The Forms tab, available for all business and Business Plus customers, empowers you to create and manage digital forms tailored to your projects and organization. Fieldwire forms are a great way to manage your project's daily reports, T&M tickets, inspection requests, and any unique forms your organization requires, all conveniently in one place. In this tutorial, we'll explore using Fieldwire's custom form builder to build a form template from the ground up. Specifically, we'll focus on creating a custom daily report template. While the Forms tab already includes a pre-built daily report template, this walkthrough will cover all the various entry types so that you can make modifications and build any type of form you need. To create and edit forms, ensure you have project admin permissions. Start by navigating to the Forms tab inside of your Fieldwire project. Click plus new form, then select plus new template. And finally, Choose Create New from the drop-down menu. You'll then have the option to select one of Fieldwire's five pre-built templates as a starting point. To follow along with this tutorial, select plus new blank template to start from scratch. Next, provide a name for the template and decide whether to enable the dated form feature. This allows Fieldwire to pull in date-specific information such as weather data. This could be useful for daily reports where you'd like to record any weather impacts. Let's turn this on for the daily report we are building. Finally, click the blue Create button to access the Form Builder interface. Now that we are in the Form Builder, we can start building our form by adding sections. Click the plus New Section button to create a new section. Sections help organize the information you want to capture in your form. Next, click on the dropdown to select from one of the five section types, List, Table, Weather, Attachment, and Signature. Let's start with weather for this first section. This will automatically fetch weather information based on your project's address, which can be set in your project settings. This will be useful for the daily report template we are building. Let's proceed by creating another section. Choose List from the drop-down menu. The List section type allows users to input one answer for each question that the form asks. Give the List section a title and add a description if desired. Then click plus new line to see the create entry pop-up. Here, you can select what type of input is required. There are several input types to choose from such as short text, long text, date and time, or checkbox and notes. For instance, checkbox and notes would be ideal for a safety walkthrough form, as safety managers can quickly check off applicable items and note any measures taken to mitigate risks. Select the desired entry type and enter a description to create the entry. In addition, you can create your own custom lists to use as an entry type. This allows you to create a custom dropdown that users can select from to speed up entry. For example, a custom list could be creating a dropdown for different tools or equipment that are used on site for the day, useful for a daily report. Click Add Custom List, provide a title, and hit Create. You'll then be prompted to enter the different dropdown choices on each line item. Once you click Import, you can exit the list menu and select your custom list. As you add line items to your list in the form builder, you can click on any of the boxes to customize them further. Hints and default values are available to assist users in completing the forms. A hint is gray text prompting users for a specific type of answer, while default values will pre-populate an input that the user can overwrite if needed. We recommend looking at some of the pre-built templates to get an idea of how different list options are used. Let's add some checkbox and notes and a long text for this daily report template and keep moving. Next, let's look at the table section. Add a new section, choose table from the drop-down menu and enter a name and description to continue. The table section type creates dynamic tables for users to input rows of data as needed. To create the columns, click plus new column and an entry type pop-up will appear. It is important to note that Fieldwire's table sections have a limit of 10 columns per table. You are, however, able to add as many tables as you need in a form. The entry types for forms are similar to list entry types. You can also use any previously made custom list in a table. The integer and decimal entry types are specific to tables, allowing you to document things like materials, quantity, and cost. Fieldwire can even perform calculations within the table when using these inputs. Select the Calculation Entry Type, then click Create Expression. Here, you can input the calculation you wish to perform, save it, and title the calculation to have it appear in the table. 
Clicking on table entries allows different types of customizations, similar to list entries. You can assign units, default values, requirements, and more for each table. Clicking on the pencil icon on the top right of the table section will allow you to toggle the total row on and off. Use these customizations to denote if you would like totals to show in this row or not. For our daily report template, we will use the table sections to create work log and material delivery sections. Next, for our daily report, let's add an attachment section. Form attachments are a great way to capture job site photos or attach relevant files to your form. Select the attachment section and click on the box to customize it further. Here you can specify a minimum number of files required. It's important to note that you cannot require certain file types, only the amount of files. Therefore, we recommend specifying the desired file type in the description. This feature could be useful for requiring a minimum number of progress photos to be submitted each day with a daily report. From the mobile app, your field team can snap photos directly from their device's camera to include in the form. You can also upload photos into the form from your web browser. The last form section type to add to our form is the signature section. This section type allows you to add signature fields directly to your form. Signature fields are great for verifying accuracy when filling out daily reports or documenting customer approval for a TNM ticket. Click on the pencil icon to edit the signature section. You can require a minimum or maximum number of signatures required, as well as if a signature is required before you can submit the form. Similar to the attachment section, you can indicate if certain parties must sign in the description or add multiple signature sections for forms that require multiple parties. On the Fieldwire mobile app, you can even use your finger to sign the form like you would with a pen and paper. Simply sign as yourself or hand the device to other parties in the field to collect their signatures as needed. While building out your form, you can always preview your form template by clicking the Preview button located in the top right corner of the form builder. This preview will show you exactly how your form will appear on your project once it's published. Now that all of our sections for our form template have been created, you can use the buttons on the top right of each section to adjust them. The up and down arrows allow you to rearrange the order in which the sections appear on the form. The pencil icon allows you to edit the section title, description, and section settings. Next to the pencil icon is the duplicate section button. This allows you to duplicate sections and speed up form creation if you have sections that are very similar. Click on the duplicate button and make as needed adjustments to the duplicated section. Finally, the red trash icon allows you to delete the section if it's no longer needed on the form. The last thing to customize are the permissions and statuses of our form. At the top of your form template, click Manage to view the form permissions and statuses window. Here, you can specify who is allowed to edit the form when filling it out. Assignee only will only allow the form assignee to fill out and edit the form, while all users allows anyone invited to the project to fill out and edit the form. This setting is useful for projects where multiple users contribute to the same daily report. By default, all forms have a draft and submitted status. You can create additional statuses to match your approval workflow by clicking plus new status, giving it a title and clicking create. Once the status is made, you can also adjust the permission level for entering or exiting that status. For example, if you want your field team to be able to submit timesheets, but only allow the office to approve them, create an approval status and only allow project admin to enter it. Now that we are finished building our daily report template, click the publish button. This will publish the form to your project, enabling users to begin creating and filling out forms with this template. If you need to make any changes to the form later on, simply click Manage Template and Unpublish to return to the form editor. This will prevent users from creating new forms with this template while changes are being made. After you've finished making changes, publish the form to confirm the updates. To edit different form templates, click on the Manage Templates button on the top right corner of the Forms tab. Please note that unpublishing and editing a form template on a project will only affect new forms created on that specific project. It will not impact any of the forms that were previously created or on other projects. Now that we have saved and published this daily report template to our project, we can clone it to new projects as they are created by selecting the Clone Existing Project button and Copy Form Templates. 
Additionally, if you have account owner or manager permissions, you can publish form templates to your account level. This will allow you to import the same form template to all of your other projects. To publish a form template to your account level, click on the Actions button in the Forms Editor and select Publish to Account. This will save your form in the Templates tab of your FieldWire homepage. Note that when you save a form to the account level, the custom lists associated with that template will also be available. You can also create and edit templates at the account level from this page, but changes will not automatically be applied to existing projects or forms. You will need to import the form to each project for the changes to take effect. To import a form to an existing project, navigate to the Project Forms tab, select plus new form, then plus new template, and finally, import from account. If you do not see your template in the account templates pop-up, that means it is not published. Ensure it is published at the account level before attempting to import it to your project. Custom lists associated with the form will automatically pull from the account level as well. For more detailed information on FieldWire's Forms Builder, please check out our help article linked in the description box. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at fieldwire.com.